What's going on guys? I'm here with the hex bug uh, hex mods and this is the unboxing so we're gonna go ahead and try to open this guy up check out what most of it because that's just too many things to check out at once so it might be a little bit long guys a little bit long videos so just kind of you could just like forward and stuff through it if you don't want to see this you just want to see the car itself so give me one second i do want to show you something okay so I just wanted to show you guys, I do have another 130 right here that's a little more race, faster, a little more racy status. And then I have another one here that I know for sure is going to make this thing run fast. So this is what I have, this is what I'm going to try to get in there. I already seen where I have to solder two little bars because this car holds on by a spring. It touch two springs touch the the red and black so that it can turn on so i am going to have to um just uh, solder on some little bars here and I, I already have it all figured out but this this is what i'm going to try to get in there guys and uh, it's a 50 turn but these things get hot super fast so you definitely don't want to go down too many turns so i'm going to put this on i have a little retro pie heat sink on there right now but I don't think that's going to fit. So let's go ahead and get started. But those those are other motors that I have that I will get in this thing some way or another. Where is the knife? Got the unboxing knife. Let's go ahead and uh, get this opened up. So we'll go ahead and cut this off. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do something really fast. Just give me one second, guys. Should have done this before, but I just found this again and I uh, want to put it on. There you go. See, now you guys don't have to see my stupid tattoos. Don't like those tattoos, guys. Got those when I was really young. Uh, I went to, I ended up doing something really bad for the very first time, and the judge gave me four years. But that, right, friends, is a horse of a different color. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. Um, where do we... I don't even think there's any tape here. Oh, yeah, right here. My bad. Go ahead and put this through here. And through here. All right, so we'll go ahead and open up this corner here. Oh, man, this thing is... Pretty big, guys. All right, so it's all just gonna come out so easily. Okay, I'm gonna use this red box, a box to look through all this stuff. I mean, to hold it up while we record. Give me one second, guys. I know we're out of frame. All right, so we'll just put this big old hex mods box in the back over here. Need that right there. All right, and it even comes with this manual. Guys, check this manual. And I did check out a couple of videos of this even before I bought it. I checked it out about a month ago. And uh, I seen a YouTuber who said it was pretty good. He's a famous YouTuber, very big channel. forgot his name I think it's Santa something Maria something like that but he did it he said it was pretty cool so I pulled the trigger when I saw that video and I went and picked it up and besides guys it's a hundred dollars and I know that's a little pricey these days and times it's beyond pricey but even if I didn't get my money back guys I mean that that would I still wouldn't complain too much you know you this is the kind of stuff when you're doing a YouTube channel, you're gonna get burned a lot. I spend a lot of money on things, and sometimes they're garbage. And it's, I like a while back, guys. I just bought the, the RC crawler, the Devastator, and uh, it was all broken, guys. Had trouble getting my money back or even some of it back. So this is the Nighthawk, and you can see there's another fifty-dollar one. 
I wasn't going to get that one because I wanted to try everything. Plus, I like this car because it's smaller. This one's a little bigger. But you can see this manual is pretty detailed and it looks good. It's not cheap. They didn't um, flake out on the manual. All right. So let's go ahead and get the scissors here. Bring you guys back down a little bit. Have to use the big tripod today. Okay, so we'll go ahead and clip here. And here. Let's check this out. This is what I've been... Oh, wow, guys, this feels great. It is fully proportional. I didn't show you that, but it says it right here on the box right here. Right here. Proportional. So it's fully proportional. So I, that's another good thing. But I thought this transmitter was going to be crappy. You put your batteries in right here. It doesn't feel too bad. We got a few options. We'll have to go into detail when I do an actual run with this car. Well, and this is rubber. It's not like hollow or something on the other side. I thought it was going to be like just looking like rubber and all like hollow back here. But it's actually pretty thick and it's uh pretty good. This feels good. This does not feel too bad. Considering uh, a lot of these ready to run can be really horrible, guys. And I mean horrible. Horrifying where it just doesn't even want, you just don't even want to buy the RC and look at that it comes with batteries all right i see oh. you see it comes with batteries there so you got batteries already so you don't have to worry about those so this is like a portable gift um what i mean by portable is that you can take this to the park and give it away there at a party or whatever and then you guys can actually put it together and use it there because it comes with all the batteries uh, so now we just go through this guys I'm gonna this is what I want to do I'm gonna cut this off here cut the bumpers and I'm just gonna leave them on there I guess until I figure all this out so I start to use it I did buy these guys to put them in look at I bought these things So that's what I'm going to store all the pieces in. Um, where did those scissors go? Here we go. So let's get the car out. All right. Oh, wow. This actually feels pretty good, guys. This feels pretty decent. It looks okay, too. Um, to go faster, I need to put in the red motor. This is the, the normal motor. Power button is down here. And I guess that's your charging charging port there. Ah, thing's hard. Ah, but I don't see any lube. Kind of hard to see if it's on or off here. Well, I think it's on. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. I thought it was going to be all light and cheap. This feels decent. I already feel like putting the batteries in that transmitter. So I guess right now, I need to open this up. All this to put the differential inside, which is right here. So I need to put that differential in there and it'll turn it into four wheel drive. Also, there are the little dog bones here. And these are all springs and stuff. I'll probably go for the softest springs. And then these are like your, uh, your red gears are your more higher gears. Regular color are just your normal color. So red, it's even got like these, see these? Like little weights to hold the car down. So you get two different little weights, I think. Something you get blue and green underglow. So you got 
you put these on the car and uh, you will have blue and then you put these ones you will have green so you can choose then tires we have uh, it just uh, these are standard soft tread hard slick and slick soft here and drift down there and then we got all our bumpers over here hood options and we're gonna go through these boxes that are in the back look at these rims I'm almost certain these rims fit my drift shark it has the same exact uh, style so I don't know it might fit so let me go ahead and show you guys the back of this so if we lift this and we turn it like this I'll leave that like that all right so these are all the boxes where we can in I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut these open so this is your track oh that's what that is that's the track guys you see I could get these off without Scissors. All right. So what it's in here? I will open it from here. Come on. So we got a couple of red pieces of the track and the track is made out of a rubber so the car is not going to get stuck too much to it that's good so this must be all track guys that's what this is track see that track in there got the white part and it goes together like a puzzle see that so if I take out a white piece, they simply go together really simple. See that? So it's real easy to do. They feel really good. feel like they're going to stay on the floor, not slide all over the place like hard plastic. So I like that. So that's what you got back here. You got all of your track pieces. And you do get quite a bit of track there. Um, let me go ahead and take this off. Alright. Okay. There's our batteries here. Okay. Throw that down. Snap these out of here. I'm going to go. Well. I'm going to go ahead and put these in the transmitter, guys. Give me one second. Okay. So I got batteries inside the transmitter. Feels pretty good. This feels like really good guys really decent i guess these are all your steering trim and steering throw it has like a high and low i would really have to go through all the directions but let's try to see if i can bind this up so i'm going to go ahead and turn on the transmitter here and see the light is on flashing I can hear it like it's on, but I don't. It's not steering. Let's see. Hmm. Seems to be getting stuck here. I can't even figure out how to bind this thing. Let me try to bind this, guys. 
Okay, guys, so I got this thing to bind up, but I'm telling you, I do not know how. I'm going to have to go through the directions and actually take time to read them. So right now, it is bounded up. You can see that. And it sounds okay. I can tell, you know, when you've been messing around with RC cars, you kind of can get an idea of how fast something goes when just by hearing wheel speed. And that... That sounds okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and move this. We'll put that right here. We'll put the RC card down there. I'll bring you guys further down. All right, so you guys can see. I'd rather it be on an all blank surface so you guys can see proper. Let me see if I could get this a little better. Okay, so there's RC card now. And... Here's the transmitter, and if I put this all the way down, that's our steering trim. You can see it. Now, if I put it to the middle, we get a little more steering throw. And then if I put it all the way to the top, we get all of the steering throw. And if we want more steering throw, then we simply need to add... Let me see one of these different steering wheels. But this one comes with the lights. That's going to help me to understand when the damn car is on or off. I'm going to go through everything, learn how to use this. See, see, this is what I'm saying. See the motor here? It has like these two things here where it turns on. See that? So I need to solder on two little bars here. I'll make them myself and uh, on my other motor. And then I'll solder on these springs. But I'll first use this motor up, see what it's about. I don't really care for those ones that have plastic butts like that. I don't really care for that, but hey, it's supposed to do 18 miles per hour, guys. So... And if you look at this here, we get an explosion, exploded view here. Check that out, guys. That is a lot of different styles here. Just a ton. So we got 18 miles per hour with the red motor and the red gearing. So the red means fast, which is pretty easy. And the regular gearing is just normal. You got your suspension springs here. Your steering throw, your steering links, I mean, or steering tuning, it says there. Underglow. So both of them have differentials in them. So you see, there's quite a lot in this box. Not to mention, there's still different mods. I am going to buy the the uh, bearings for them. i seen them for 20 bucks. I'm going to buy that. As well, I'm going to move this guys really fast. I don't want to use it too much in here because I haven't swept up and there's hair. Well, I always sweep up, but I always like sweeping up one more time before I start using the, my RC stuff. Oh yeah, this is not bad. I've had a few people get to me and tell me that it was crap and... That I should just go back and get my money back. They said theirs was binding or something. This is not too bad, guys. This is not too bad at all. I don't know exactly what these do, but I'm thinking these are your uh, trim. What's this? I'm not really too sure what these do, guys. I really, really got to go through the directions. But it feels good. It's about as fast. I can tell right now. When I put that red motor in, it's going to be as fast as my drift shark. Let's take the body out right now. Oh yeah, that's good. I don't understand why everyone said it was crap. Or not everyone, but a few people said it was crap. This is not crap, guys. 
I need to open this up and when I open it up I'm going to put grease in the diffs. I have a syringe filled with grease. Um, then after I open them up slightly and then squeeze it in and uh, that's how I oil everything up without really having to uh, grease everything up or even just oil it up without having to really break everything open. So it will be four wheel drive. So we're going to do all these things together. We're going to open this up, put the diff in there, the dog bones on the side. We'll switch up the rims. You guys tell me how you want it and I'll do it like that. But so far, this looks pretty good. And uh, right now, it even bounced. I threw it on the floor and it bounced. So the suspension... It actually works, guys. Wow, this just keeps getting better. So, look at that. That's, that's, that's really good. That's not slow at all. It's loud. That's only because it has no grease. I don't want to put a boatload of grease neither. You're not supposed to grease up all those things because and then when you drive through dirt and stuff, you get a mixed paste. Next thing you know, you're slowing yourself down. This feels really good, guys. Really good. Even just two wheel drive, this thing gets down. So no, I don't. I don't know what um, the others were saying, but I seem to think it's working great, and it's worth them. It seems to be worth the money so far. I mean, I don't have anything messing up, messing up yet. Nothing didn't come binding. The only thing I had was a little trouble binding this. But uh, that's only because I didn't read the directions. So let's go ahead and slide this back. Okay. And it does come with some stickers. Let's go over the rest of this stuff. Look at this. They hook you up with stickers too. That's the first one which is stuck on there. Do you guys see that? And that. And then this. So they give you a number of stickers. Which is really good. You can never have too many stickers. Stickers always make things look good. If you know how to do if you know how to do the right sticking sticker placement, you can make things look a lot better. It came with this charger, guys, which looks horrible. I mean, this is horrifying. This is very, very cheap. So, I don't know about this. I'll probably be using my own. I'll go over it just to make sure. But so far, this looks like it has no light indication or anything. I couldn't even find the part where you charge it because... If you see there's something here which looks like a charging port and then there's something here so I have no idea I really really got to read this but let's take the the body itself off let's go ahead and do this all right so here's the body itself and you can switch up these you can cover this off or you can you can tint this because you can see here they are over here. So you can tint that or even just put it red. See? And then our hood, this part here comes off. And you can change that to these hoods, different hoods that are here. So these are the different hoods. So, so far, guys, this doesn't feel that so that's what that spot is so that spot is for these lights here I might as well take these off okay so here's the lights and that will connect right on to here you can see where they connect right there okay so see those there car is still on too I'm telling you that thing works pretty good the mirrors are rubber, so they're not going to break. 
that this body feels pretty good. And you can change up bumpers to any of these bumpers here. So you got front and rear bumpers. Front, rear, those rims. And that's pretty much it, guys. These are side skirts here, I think. That's what it says. Side skirts, roof options. I probably will be changing the roof to put a moon roof on there. And that's pretty much it. Look at these. These spoilers look awesome. Might want to, I think I might use one of these for my drift shark. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I got to take all these parts off and uh, put them away and figure out where they go. I need to figure out how to bind this thing properly. And I'm going to read a lot. Look at that, guys. Look at those springs. They're blue. I didn't even notice that. They're colored. So they must have some performance in them. It gives you one, two, three differentials. So that means you only need two. They give you one extra. Your gears and bushings. But I'm going to put bearings. I already seen found the bearing kit. And I don't know what that is. They look like two little... Um, bolts that go to the tire see that and the screwdriver takes off the screwdriver is what takes off these tires here it just goes right into that so you don't want to lose that screwdriver keep it don't throw it away don't ever let anything happen to it because that's the style it uses but i'm pretty sure you can put your own little bolts on there but this feels good, guys. This feels really good. So I'm kind of excited to see what it's going to do with an actual, um, with the better motor and four-wheel drive. So there we go. There goes our lights. We got your red over here. Let's see if I can show you. Red, white. Okay, so that's going to be cool. So now I'll know when it turns off. Now at least I'm going to leave those on for now. And uh, that's pretty much the end of this one, guys. So by the next video, we will then use it as two wheel. We'll put some drift tires on it. Use it as two wheel. Um, you guys will tell me which ones you want on there. If not, if you guys are shy, don't want to say anything, then I'll put, I'll dress the car up. Um, I want to try different steering links to get more steering throw and uh, different rims. So we'll mess around with it and then we'll put the front differential in there and we'll make it four wheel drive and drift again. But so far, I feel like it's going to be a good car, guys. I mean, it really does. It's got a brake. See, it's got brakes. For fully proportional. It's a little loud, but it works. So, I'm happy with the purchase, guys. I really am. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, so that should be off. Yes. And this is how you turn this off. Yeah, guys. So I'm pretty happy with the with the purchase. When I come back, um, we'll mess around more with the car. Uh, and we'll probably change up the motor. I'm really looking forward to being to going fast, so I can use it with the drift shark. Uh, next time too, we'll take out the drift shark too. Kind of compare them a little bit. So that's pretty much the end of this one, guys. Don't want to make the video too long. But it, it is, it's an awesome little car. 